I have been publishing a ton of articles on this site since I started it in January. It's on a fresh domain and my aim with it over the next five to 10 years is to become a huge solid brand in the niche. While you don't need to have hundreds of articles to make good money in web publishing, you do if you want to make a dent in an entire industry, which is what I wholly believe that we should be moving towards if we want to future-proof our little niche babies. So I've been using this thing that I call my bulk publishing framework and this allows me to find patterns in keywords that are already working and have similarities and create high quality variations of those posts. If you're familiar with programmatic SEO or brand swapping or any such technique that involves what might feel like duplicate content, then this will be familiar to you. But I have combined these things which have allowed me to make use of data scraping and GPT-3 to again, make these high quality articles that stand alone and do not look anything like something that's been copied or pasted or low quality in any way. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do and how you can easily do this on your site, no matter what niche you're in. So how does this bulk publishing stuff work? Let's take a look. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this bulk publishing method. I don't recommend doing it this way, but it will show you what the spreadsheet is capable of. We're going to take a list of iPhone models and create 20 blog posts. First, I'm going to start adding my columns. And the keyword that we're going to be targeting is iPhone model number won't turn on. So first, we're going to use a concatenate formula to turn the model into a keyword. Now we have our keyword, we just need to click and drag to create one for each model. Similarly, the slug is going to be the same as the keyword, so we can copy and paste this and then run search and replace to swap those spaces with dashes. So we have our slug, we have our phone, which will come in handy for variations within our template in the publishing stage. The next stage is to generate some titles. We need to use the keyword column so it knows what kind of title it's generating and then it will generate a variety of catchy headliney headings. I used to use concatenate for this and it resulted in very similar headings like iPhone 4 won't turn on, here's how to fix it. iPhone 5 won't turn on, here's how to fix it, etc, etc, which was no bueno. So this is a pretty epic shift for me. As this is the quick and dirty method, we are going to let the spreadsheet generate our introductions. Again, this is just to show you how the function works, but if I were doing it my way, I would write the introductions. I always write the introductions for these types of posts while I'm writing the template because I get to put as much character in as possible and I still get the variations because I have the brand and the model number in a separate column. But back to the quick and dirty method, let's generate these AI introductions. The titles look good and they have the keywords in them. So the next thing to do is to check out the prompts that we can get the introduction with. So we don't actually have a get introduction formula, but we're going to use a custom introduction prompt because you might want to change things up depending on the output you want. Whereas the default formulas like get title and get answer, they've been designed for the best possible output. With the introductions, we're going to let the prompt grab information from the title this time because this way it gets a better sense of the direction of the article. And then we're gonna click and drag, of course. And now we're going to generate a few outlines and then choose the best one to use for all of the models. We're not going to use a different outline for each model that's gonna be slow and cumbersome. So we're gonna keep it simple and use the same headings and just uh, make variations of each of those with the iPhone model. There is actually a specific keyword 
title, outline, and introduction generator page that you can use if you have a bunch of keywords that you plan on outsourcing. In fact, this is a good time to mention Anne Moss's content planner because you could in fact get your list of keywords, generate your titles, and then set them up in her planner with the word length, the writers, the silo, etc. Everything to keep you on track, which is exactly what I do. And it's even more important when you're publishing a ton of content because you need to see what's working and also make sure that you're creating topic clusters, internal linking and not writing the same post twice, all of these things. So the link is in the description if you do want to check that out. But where were we? So we're going to give the prompt for it to write helpful, human sounding, useful uh, paragraphs on a specific query and we'll copy this prompt and then head back over to the bulk variations page. Uh, now is a great time to mention the save values feature. We don't want any of these refreshing or changing if we close the sheet or refresh the page. It will try to grab these from the API again, which one, takes away the results that you might be happy with, and two, pulls from your API again so it wastes your tokens, and we don't want that. So we go to save values and save the GPT formula specifically as text. So there's no more GPT formulas here. They're all just plain text, and we can edit them, and they can't be pulled from the API again. We can take bits of information from each outline or we can choose the best one and put them into individual cells. By default, I've set it to give seven headings in an outline, but you can change that to whatever you like. If you want five headings or eight, that's all up to you. You can change that on the settings page. All right, so we have our headings. Now we need to add a concatenate formula so they match the iPhone model, and then of course, click and drag, so each has its variation of the heading. I can speed this up and do this for all the headings, which I'm going to do now. You don't actually need to do your headings in the spreadsheet. You can do it in the template, but if you're using AI, it needs to have the information to pull from. So it's best to have the heading or at least a similar prompt on the sheet for it to pull from. Okay, now let's generate some paragraphs for these beautiful, well-crafted headings that we have here. Let's look at a prompt that we've got here. Create an engaging and human sounding blah, blah, blah. Let's see what it says first. And then if it's good, we're gonna click and drag and let GPT do the same for each of these keywords. What I would do to add some more variety to this post is I would add a YouTube embed link um, on how to replace the battery on this phone and that phone. I'd add that in the template, but I would have a column of its own to put the link in. So I'd have a YouTube column and put the embed link in for each of these phones. And you can actually use the scraping tool to get these videos for you. But this is just a short preview of the sheet itself. I have an entire framework of how I'm using this, how I generate and create internal links within the sheet. Because I'm writing these posts myself or having an expert writer write them for me and then turning those already high quality posts into templates which I can then add my spreadsheet variations to and bulk upload. So be sure to join the mailing list so you don't miss out. It will be limited upon launch so I can get feedback and my mailing list will know about this first. So again, arielphoenix.com, join the mailing list or go to twitter.com slash arielcpx.